Okay, I'm going to pick up where I left off last time on creating this end gable wall. While you were gone, I created this center line for my wall, and I just drew a line straight up, and that's going to give me the point where this ridge board is going to connect. I also created a little 2x4 here, which we're going to use for these little supports on the rafter. So let's take care of, first of all, extending this rafter up past the midpoint here. So this is the center of my wall. Let's bring this up, and I'm just going to bring it past that because we're going to trim it off to fit perfectly. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this 2x4 in on each of these center lines here. And if you haven't um, tried this or noticed this, when you go to the Move tool on any object, you'll see these four little plus signs. That gives you the ability to rotate an object, and you can see I can rotate it up here very quickly. I can also go um, to the top if I wanted to rotate this the other direction. But for right now, these are good the way they are. So I'm going to take this board, and it doesn't really matter where I set it right now, but I think I'll just put it on the lowest point there. So I'm going to move this, and I'm going to move it from its center line right here over to the guidelines that I created. And I created these guides at 16-inch centers. So you can see I've dropped it on that. Now all I need to do is multi you know, use this same board many times down here, but every one of them is going to be a little bit of a different length. So the first thing I want to do is I want to edit this group, and I'm going to draw a line right here like that. So I've split that board, and now I can push this back and get rid of that part. The next thing I can do now is take this one that I've already got. I've got the angle here perfect, and I'm gonna, just going to use it on all of these. Unfortunately, you really can't um, make all of them fit perfectly. You'll have to kind of do them one at a time. So let's move these. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to move it, and I'm going to use that center point again because it'll make it easier. And I'll control, and I'm going to drop it here, and then I'm going to go times... Uh, let's go five. I don't know how many I need, but there's more than I need, but that works. So what I want to do now is I'm going to have to deal with each one of these. So let's grab this one, and I'll move, select it. I'll move this up. And what I'm going to do is make sure I go up on the Z-axis. Just make sure you're on the blue till it hits up there, and you're good. And then you can just edit this and pull this down to sit right there. And you can kind of see you do it for each one of them. And you're going to create those going all the way up. You'll notice here on the end there's going to be a little bit of a difference. This one here has to be up against a 2x4 that's centered here. And so let's draw this part of it right now. Let's get this back in here where we can work on it. So I'm going to take another 2x4. I'll just use this one since it's an extra. And let's move this over. And we'll put this at the dead center of that center line right there. And I'm also going to have to straighten this wall out, so let's do that. This, this one has to be flat, so let's draw a line here. And then um, we'll push this back. And let's clean up the edges here. It's probably one over there, yep. All right, so this one now is going to be the board that supports this ridge beam. So I'm going to take a push-pull now, and I'm just going to pull this up into this neighborhood here. We don't really know how tall it's going to be, but let's line up everything else. So now I'm going to go back to the ridge board, and let's get this cleaned up here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ridge board, and I'm going to set the top corner of my ridge board right here against that rafter. So let's select that. We're going to move this, and I'm going to grab this, and I want to set it right there. Now, if you notice, it's not centered on the board down below. And so that's a problem. And it's because of where I grabbed it. So I'm going to grab it again here at the midpoint, and I'm going to move it over on that center point. And then I'm going to move it down so that my rafter hits right there. Now I'm centered. I'm going to move this up. Sometimes you have to grab them a couple times. That's what it's going to look like. The rafter is going to tie into the top edge of that ridge board. So you can kind of see there on the end exactly how it fits. Now I can take this board down here and bring it up to the bottom of there. That board supports 
that rafter. Now the next thing I need to do is I'm going to bring up two other 2x4s right here on the sides, but I'm just going to do one because we're going to mirror this. We're going to make this um, only on one side here, and then we're going to mirror it to the other side. So we only have to do this once. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make a copy of this, and I'm going to set it right there. And now I can bring this up, and I'm going to raise this point up, until it hits the bottom of that rafter right there. Now that's helping to support the rafter. And then I'm going to pull this back down. Yeah. Pull this back down to here. That's done. Now all I have to do, Actually, I think I'm going to pull this up even farther. Let's do that. Let's pull this. Let's pull this up even farther here. I think I'm going to move this up to here, like that. Yeah, I like that better. That's how it should be anyway. So let's edit this. Let's pull this down. There. Now all I have to do is cut this rafter off right at this point here. So let's go do that. And we're pretty much done with this. So let's draw a line from here to here. Should be able to now push this out. And there it is. That's how that's going to look. There's going to be one more board here, though, that supports this rafter. And so we can use these. We can pull these up and have those supports along there. If you want for extra support, you could take another one of these right here and make a copy of that. And you know, in, in some cases, this might happen <clears throat> just for extra support. And you'll have a board here like this that just supports that rafter as it ties into that end. The catch to this is when you create the next rafter over, it just goes right into this ra the ridge beam. So the next one will go over here uh, at 16 inches, and it'll tie in up here. So this is going to be a little bit trickier for you. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do that.